Hi Leo, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the first half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you are new, please do check the description box below. There's a ton of information down there, all kind of links. So please do go check that out, be greatly appreciated. Uh, decks I'm using, personal readings, everything you need to know is down there. And before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers, thank you so much. Those who have reached out for personal reading, thank you, thank you. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a, as in a tip or donation is greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you, thank you so much. It is greatly appreciated. And I couldn't do it without you guys. So I do it for you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so let's get started here for Leo. And I am a Leo. We are in our birthday season. So happy birthday to us. Leo's in August already. First half of August. I am an end of a July Leo. Not a cusper though. I'm not a Cancer Leo cusper. I'm right at the end. I'm July 29th. So, so this is for the first half of August already. Wow. Okay. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. So we may get a sign, element, or planet energy. We'll see how that plays into your reading. And if you don't resonate with whatever comes out here, that's totally fine. This is just sort of like a little extra bonus pull here. So whatever we get for Leo. What may some Leos be dealing with, Spirit? Please, in love, first half of August. Wow. <laughs> the sun, so some of you could be dealing with another Leo. <laughs> I don't know. And um, sun just, it represents fire also. So it could be uh, either another fire sign, but uh, the sun does represent Leo. So either you, you are in your, just your power this month, even though first half of August, even though it's a love reading, um, you know, that is all about you, your identity, who you are your soul mission, your soul purpose. Um, the sun is what, your sun sign is Leo. So um, you, like I said, could be dealing with another Leo or it's just about sun and tarot. It's just about happiness and joy and success and everything positive with the card. It's the most positive card in the tarot deck. So that could be just the energy of like total happiness and fulfillment for you the first half of August or are you feeling very fiery and passionate first half of August all right standing true to who you are your beliefs all right so let's see let's get an overall wow energy for you Leo for the first half of August just one card for Leo what is their love energy like in this love connection for the first half of August. I just want one. One spirit, please. Thank you so much. There we go. So this is the back. Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflections. So I also, sun can also in the tarot when you get the sun, like the lovers in like the four of wands and two of cups that's all like soulmate twin flame energy and some do believe the sun can indicate a twin flame connection and with this card saying um you both possess the same sort of qualities in one another um you could be dealing with a twin flame connection here i don't know we'll see we'll see so let's see what is leo's I didn't fully ask yet. What is Leo's energy like in this love connection? How are they feeling towards their person? And this can be any kind of connection you have in any kind of situation. So please keep that in mind. Okay. So for Leo, how are they feeling about their person? How are they feeling in this love connection spirit, please? We have one card for Leo. How are they feeling? towards this person and how are they feeling in this connection it's one card I don't want to give me anything there we go 
So Leo is saying here, you, forgiveness, stop focusing your energy on past events, for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So sh Leo may be telling their person, if their person has been going through some things of the past, um, to stop focusing on that and think about the future and just forgive all energies of the past and moving forward. I don't know, we'll see. So how is Leo's person, how is Leo's person feeling towards them and towards this connection spirit? Please, one card for Leo in their person. How are they feeling towards Leo? And how are they feeling towards this connection? Can you have one card please, spirit? Thank you so much. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. So this person I think is trying is telling Leo that they may also feel the connection, want the connection, but they also want their space and freedom to do what they want. And let's see what's up. <laughs> You're not gonna believe what is on the bottom of the deck. You're not gonna believe it. twin flames and I was getting that message with the sun your passion ignites with the sun energy there I got passion uh, twin flame energy especially with the message on this card of both possessing the same sort of qualities wow all right spirit confirming what I just said thank you all right so let's clarify now for you Leo so we could have two fire signs here um, I'm definitely feeling if it's not uh, a, another Leo it could be another fire sign alright alright so let's get more clarity here for Leo, why are they in this forgiveness energy towards the connection, towards a person? Can we clarify for Leo, please, Spirit? One card for Leo. Clarify for them. Wow. <laughs> so this is can be Taurus energy, but it doesn't have to be. So this is about marriage, commitment, um, spirituality, faith, religion, that sort of thing, organiza organizations, structure, doing what's moral, just, and right, uh, integrity. So there, so, I don't know, Leo may be in the energy of, I don't know, I, I, I feel like Leo probably wants, um, Leo, you probably maybe want a commitment or even a marriage with this person. Um, or you're, you, you know, you feel like you want them to do what's moral, just, and right. Or maybe they could be in a marriage and you know that. Um, the Hierophant energy. I don't know. We'll see as we go on here. But I definitely feel like Leo feels like this connection with their person and sees like a long-term connection of some kind with this person. Could be spiritually connected as with, you know, twin flame energy there. Okay, so let's get one for Leo's person. Leo's person. Oh, we got two here. Wow. <laughs> so we have so we do have the Three of Cups, and I had felt that uh, can indicate, it's usually, this is water energy, and we have the Gemini card with the lovers. So so here we have the Three of Cups is usually about reuniting, celebrating, rejoicing, sometimes can indicate third party. Then we have the lovers, which indicates soulmate energy, twin flame energy, two people coming together as one, can also indicate sometimes, this deck doesn't show uh, three people, some it shows three people and needing to make a choice between two lovers. Um, so their person here, 
that they're connecting with could be choosing, trying to decide, you know, do they want to stay in their marriage or do they want to uh, have something with Leo? But I do feel like they have this connection. It's not, if it's not that, say they just came out of a marriage or they divorced or something like that, I think they're really thinking about reconnecting here and they do see Leo as being a lover or a partner or something like that. They definitely have this uh, feeling within them. But they may be conflicted here because, you know, they want closeness, yet they want space. So, um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that plays out. All right. So let's see what the situation is here. Now for you, Leo. So we have, wow. So we have the two of cups. We have the nine of cups. Wow. And we have the queen of swords. <laughs> okay. So water, water and air energy here. So here's two people coming together. So someone's going to make a decision here. The Two of Cups is connected to you, though, Leo. So you definitely want to come into the soulmate union with this person. I think you definitely know uh, that this is your soulmate. Um, and you see a future, some kind of future with them or connection with them. And you definitely want to come together with them. And then connecting to them is the Queen of Swords. So I definitely feel like here... They're either receiving their truth and clarity. They're a very upfront, open and honest person. Uh, maybe they could be, they could be a water sign or Gemini or even ear. I mean, they could have any sign. They could be anybody, any sign. So um, here, uh, like very truthful, honest, blunt, uh, not afraid to cut away things, not serving them, stands up for themselves, doesn't take any BS kind of energy. They also could be receiving truth and clarity about the connection here. Maybe before they kind of, um, you know, kind of turned a blind eye to it, didn't want to acknowledge it. And now I think the divine here is like giving them their truth, their sort of truth here. And they also may be delivering some truths here and speaking their truths, the Queen of Swords energy. And then we have the Nine of Cups. So water energy, and that's between the two of you. So definitely here, you have that like spiritual side of you that knows this is your soulmate twin flame. They're starting to feel the connection. Uh, if they haven't before, they're trying to decide what they want to do here. They're starting to get truth and clarity. They may also come finally come forward and communicate to you. You definitely want a connection with this person coming together with the Two of, Cup, two of Cups. Definitely connecting the two of you here is being each other's wish come true, dream come true, wish fulfillment here with the Nine of Cups energy, happiness and joy, fulfillment, dreams and wishes coming true for the two of you. So you both see each other in that energy of being each other's dream and wish come true. Wow. So let's see what your advice is, Leo. Strength. There you are, Leo. Strength. And the Ten of Swords. Okay. Hmm. So, the Ten of Swords. So your advice is, um, you know, the Ten of Swords is about endings, completions, a painful, heartful ending, and it's kind of connecting to them on their side. So, you know, they may have, because you have the three people there, so maybe they have been recently I don't know either went through an ending of some sort of long-term relationship or something like that and you know that I think you know they've been through this ending that's painful hurtful ending so this is telling you you know to keep your inner strength your courage your bravery your de determination and passion and your willpower and also maybe telling you to refrain or hold back from this person for a while because you know they're completing some sort of painful cycle here with the Ten of Swords. I don't feel like it's Leo. I don't think it's you. Um, it could be. Maybe you've been through a, a divorce or a marriage too. And if you have and you're going through this ending, it's telling you to, um, you know, keep your strength, keep your head up, you know, to keep your uh, courage through whatever ending there is here. 
So however that resonates for you. Um, so let's see what the possible outcome will be. So we have the seven of pentacles. So this is slow, steady work, this is earth energy. So um, this is planting the seeds. This is um, building, growing, waiting, patience, you know, planted the seeds, but now you're waiting for, you know, the harvest to grow so that you can pick it. So this is just patiently waiting for something to grow in the future to be abundant. This is like planting the seeds of your abundance for the future. So the outcome is, you know, slow, steady work and patience and waiting <laughs> for now. I feel like either while your person goes through what they go through until they make a decision to come to you. But connecting the two of you definitely here is truth and honesty, soulmate connection dreams and wishes and hopes coming true you need to stay strong through whatever they're ending and then you do have the slow steady growth for the future baby steps small steps very slow moving here but the pentacles are very stable so this could be something that could last a very long time between the two of you so let's get more clarifiers here. So now we have the Six of Wands, fire energy. So yeah, Leo Sagittarius, so here's success and victory. I do feel like they will come forward uh, eventually when you know the time is right, when they've been completed what they've gone through, they've made the decision, they choose you, and then they come forward with an offer of some kind. And here's your success and victory with this connection. And then we have the nine of wands. So this is, you know, being the wounded warrior. So this could be their energy of, you know, if they're going through a battle, a struggle right now in life, through a relationship, you know, they're fighting and they're going on, going on, and they're, you know, maybe wounded, but they're still, they still have that fiery, passionate energy just to keep going. Endurance. And the wheel of fortune. So we have Sagittarius energy here. So divinely guided connection here I definitely feel like that with the two of cups twin flames wheel of fortune here this is divine timing um, fate destiny better luck good th things moving in the right direction all in divine timing and the two of wands so you see in this deck that there's two different people holding wands here so this could be, you know, making decisions, planning um, for the future. You know, you have the globe here deciding, you know, how are we going to work this out? How is it going to move forward? You know, making all those plans and decisions for forward movement. And I do feel like it's two people here. It could be two fire signs because you see uh, two people here holding the wands. Okay, so let's see what else for you, Leo. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the Five of Cups. So definitely I feel like, you know, it could be you feeling, you know, hurt and sad over maybe this connection not coming together or they're sad and hurt over what they're going through here. But here's the two cups here and here's the two cups there. So it is... In divine timing that these two cups will become these two cups and for a period there you know neither one of you may not have been able to see it because of what all the circumstances were so here's earth energy again uh, two of Pentacles so you have juggling things around emotions feelings life in general trying to figure out uh, what to do where to go what direction to go in here and then well here's the confirmation of the twin flames wow the four of wands and I said I bet we get the four of wands here and I mentioned that at the beginning and <laughs> oh I thought that said soulmates never mind um, twin flames here's the four of wands the twin flame card and this sometimes can indicate just uh, commitment marriage two people coming together sharing a home the home, the foundation, being stable, celebrations, ceremonies. Yep. 
there's the twin flame card and he has judgment so here's you know with the forgiveness here forgiving everything in the past that's either happened between the two of you or individually or whatever here this is and maybe if this was a connection that came together then it kind of went apart this is resurrection of something this is forgiveness of the past um, somebody returning something returning into your life making a final de decision and judgment call we have Scorpio energy here so making that final judgment call here and forgiving things of the past now we have the Four of Swords energy. So, you know, resting, recuperating, retreating, spending time alone, really thinking and contemplating um, about life, love, everything here. You, them, maybe the both of you separately here, you know, doing healing work and just thinking. And, and wow, and it's funny I just said that because now we have the star, Aquarius energy, which is about healing. Um, enlightenment, uh, divinely guided. The star is only, always divinely guided. This is divinely guided soulmate twin flame energy. And I definitely feel like here with the five of cups, that may have been something just couldn't see at the time because of certain situations and circumstances. But I definitely feel like here, you know, keep that faith, hope, and optimism, healing, divinely guided energy things balancing out tower so yeah there could have been you know a big tower moment for them in their life or maybe you too and maybe you both went through a divorce or some sort of breaking up of a long-term um situation or this is just the tower moment coming in for you for them saying bam this is your soulmate your twin flame just having that big epiphany and realization that hits you like lightning. You know, here's the flames here. And then here's the fool. So here is jumping right in, resetting at zero, leaving all the past baggage behind, forgiving everything of the past, and just jumping in, taking a leap of faith and trusting everything will be fine. Justice, okay. Yep, so Libra energy here. This could be, this is about divorce, so... They could be in the middle of divorce. They could just divorce. You could have divorced. You've got the hierophant there. You both could have divorced. Um, and now you're feeling this connection. So it's almost like the two of you may have gone through the same thing separately. And now you have this connection out of nowhere. And it's like, what the heck is this all about? And uh, getting the truth and clarity here with the Queen of Swords in this whole situation. Yep. But I see a new start here with uh, the Fool energy. You know, healing. I'm surprised we didn't get the Ace of Cups, but uh, I do see this is a divinely guided soulmate twin flame energy once um, healing work has, be, has taken place and um, they are strength and courage to come forward in this connection. You may be fearing, Leo, that this connection may be over and done the ten of swords but this is telling you just to keep your inner strength and courage and don't give up because you do have wish fulfillment right here and judgment is always something coming back the wheel of fortune the fool so it's all in the right energy to come together in divine timing all right so let's get some Let's get some um, guidance and advice for you, Leo, in this love connection for the first half of August. Advice and guidance. Oh, we got two. Okay. Put this over here. So we have soul craft and we have authentic truth. So I do feel like and I had said that right here with the Queen of Swords, very truthful, honest energy on their side also between the two of you. I feel like that's also divine energy, you know, serving, you know, the truth, enlightenment to them, maybe the two, to the two of you. And that's authentic truth. So I do feel like this could be an authentic um, connection here, a lot of truth and honesty, a lot of, you know, feelings, emotions, 
between the two of you. And then we have soul craft. I'm not too sure exactly what that means. So number 10 and 10 again. So we have four. Wow, which four is the twin flame number four. And that's about stability. And then we have 10 soul craft, which is endings and then new beginnings. So number 10 soul craft. Let's see what that is about. Um, life happiness from you, not to you. Um, let's see. The thoughts, ideas, and topics you insistently discuss are crafting your life. So focus on, on ones that make your heart smile. Okay, so this is um, about doing things um, that are only for your highest good, that, so, that serve your purpose, your soul, you know, speaking, talking about things that are only beneficial for you doing things that are only beneficial for you because that crafts your soul and in your life and moving forward. Like manifest, It's almost like manifesting what you want in your life. Um, you know how they say you are what you think, what you say, and things like that. So only do things that are for your highest good. Say, think, speak, whatever here. And that will help in your soul that makes sense. I don't know. Okay, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Wellness, 24, which is 6, which is healing and balance. So you may need to do some inner work, um, balancing yourself out, healing yourself. Maybe you need to uh, watch your diet or get outside, exercise more, and things of that nature. Really watch your mental health, your physical health, what you're eating, and that sort of thing. Maybe do some meditation work. Um, Maybe get some guidance, um, you know, really watch your, what you are thinking. Because right here we had watch what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. So, you know, keep your mental wellness in a healthy state. Try not to get into negative thinking and thoughts or depression or anything like that. Because if you are in a twin flame connection, they can, they may not know it, but they can energetically pick up on that and they may start feeling depressed and sad for no reason and be like, why am I feeling this way? It's because you may be feeling that way. So the more you are happy and uh, content with your life, what you're doing, concentrating on you, if you are in a twin flame situation, they will feel that and they will start to vibrate in that energy also. All right, Leo. Wow. So possible twin flame soulmate divinely guided um, connection here, but I feel like it's all gonna be in divine timing and whether or not this person or you decide to make the most, you know, steps forward in this connection. I see like the pentacle energy here is like long-term, so this could be a long-term connection for you. Okay, Leo. Um, if it did resonate for you, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love. So please do not miss out on that. And uh, wishing you lots of luck here in your uh, situation here. And sending you much light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.